Hey, we're live here at the finals of the San Francisco Tour Stop. I'm Ezra Dantowitz. And I'm Skylar Bowles. <laughs> We've got two teams here that pretty much we thought would be the top two teams. It's Wabi Sabi, the number two ranked team in the country, and Point Loma, the number six ranked team in the country. And the, the bracket actually played out. These are the one seeds off, uh, after pool play. Yeah, the one, one two seed. We tried a new thing today. We used Swiss-style seating. So instead of pool play where you play everyone in your pool, we took all the premier teams, put them in one group, and every round you played a team with the same record as you. Worked out decently well, I think. No complaints. And the only thing I thought was cool was that um, we worked out and played the same team. Yeah, uh, it's one of the things that we figured we'd leave in for now. Instead of giving you a game against a team that's not as closely ranked to you, we allowed for rematches in pool play. The advantage you get to play more close competitive games, disadvantage you don't get to play as many teams. Yeah, uh, I can see that. It's just, you know, it's rough when there's two different teams. You know, we like to have a you know, game against a different team, but it's understandable. It's definitely, yeah, definitely something we're considering as we move forward in the season. Just different ways to handle power pools or maybe it's literally zero ways bracket. to do it evenly with uh, uneven pools. So, uh, looks like we're ready to get going here. Okay, we got Point Loma and Abe Sabe. Jarrett and Preston just took out Chicago for the matchup consisting of Sean Boyer and Chris Hornacek of Origin Vengeance. Point Loma on the other side of the bracket took out subpar team Jacob and Josh. Uh, I think they did a little bit easier than Wabi Sabi did. We had a tight game one going to extras and then game two kind of handled them. We'll Win see. Wins picked up a little bit, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah. It's going to be, it's, it's another five miles an hour than it was you know, 40, 40 minutes ago, so it's going to really affect some sets and some scores. So we'll see how this goes. Yeah, we definitely more of a factor than the previous games. Uh, we'll see what happens. Jared just served. Going for the lefty. He likes to do it. See, the sun's getting lower, too. That's going to be a factor in the next, uh, in the next hour. Yeah, of course, the way we counteract that and make it even is teams rotate every five points. So you see that they just turn 90 degrees counterclockwise. Yeah, what do you think about us going counterclockwise? You know, it's, for me, it's never been an issue. My partner, Ben, loves to go the other way. Yeah. He always loves just, why don't we go clockwise? Because like, we don't. That's the only reason. Drop serve from Preston gets Kenny. Got the up, but not enough for Zach to set him. Yeah. Early break for Wabi Sabi. He's like yelling at the camera. I feel like Zach could have got a hand under the Trying to just line up with the sun a little bit better so the sun's not right in the returner's eyes. And uh, Preston just dancing out here. 2 1. We do have two observers on this game who are supposed to watch for things like that, whether the serve is close or toss inside six feet. But without lines on sand, it's sometimes hard to make that call. And Zach misses the serve. I think this is definitely one of those games where you have to get those serves on. Uh, the win, you know, and then make a mistake. I'd say too many serves on right now. We're trying to outserve each other. All uh, of these players are really incredible serves, and they can win, win matches with them. Yeah. The other thing, ooh, strong serve there from Kenny against Jared. The thing is, these players are super familiar with each other at this point. Uh, Preston of two guys and Strange of uh, Jared of Strange last year matched up with Point Loma a few times on their own. And this season, these two matched up in the San Diego finals just last month. So. Really, really, really wants to win this. Ooh! Great plays! Oh, what an wow. on by Jared! Great Kenny's able to clean up and put away. But that was the first, hopefully the first one will be many great plays in this series. See high fives all around. You love to see just that effort and you know Jared hitting that low spinny ball like that was about as hard as he could have made that shot. And he got it on this. So here we go. Early lead for Point Loma. Pockets it up. Go to the second serve. Kenny's maybe you don't know this, but he's a server. He's got a variety of strong serves. He cuts hard to your right as a returner. And he can keep you honest with a flango too, so. You're the returner, you just gotta be ready for anything. You see there, Jarrett was not. That one goes just right into his hand and down into the ground. Six three point Loma coming off to a good lead. He's gonna call a pocket and look straight to the observers here. Observers. Observers, like we said, here to work on disagreements. They'll agree with Preston Pocket, yep. It's definitely a factor. This commentator's cold. It is chilly. Uh, 
concede it, but it does look like they are conceding well, at this point. I've had a lot of issues playing Kenny when I'm not calling the ball. Was on that, but it was like a One of those things where it's technically an active call, so the observers can call that somebody hit the net. But the spirit of the game is that if you know you hit the net, you call it on yourself. You don't put the pressure on the other team or the observers to call it. You concede the point when you know you're the one. And if players wait until long, it's going to be such a tough call for observers to make that. Good drop from Zach. Crossing's there. It just hits rim. Missed it. So, sloppy play so far from Wami Sabi. Talk louder and hopefully you can hear us. Yeah. 
we're yelling in your ears, you, you can tell us. Uh, yeah. So here we go. We got the serve back. Press and serve. 10-14. <laughs> That's pocket. That's right call. <laughs> Gentlemen serve. Oh, touch them. Just my defense is tough. When Zach was going to set, the wind's just taking that a little bit away from him, makes it hard to really narrow in on where you want to put it. Ooh, great set, great hit from Zach Very there. Hit on that. Yeah, just waiting and letting it get super low. So, Point Loma back in command, 16 13. Just trying to stay up and close out game one here. Okay, I need to serve right here. Oh, nice yeah. touches. Woo! <laughs> Doing a little dance. <laughs> yeah, they're all smiling. Still have three breaks right now. We just have. Preston just missed that service. He rolled up over his hand a little bit. Jared got a set, but just wasn't good enough for Preston to work with. So 17 13, yeah. Really is looking in control. <laughs> uh, it is cold out here at Ocean Beach. Fuego from Kenny. Decent touch. Do you see the wind just playing a huge role? Probably blowing the ball off the net there. That's probably what made the difference for Jared's hit to be clean. Yeah, so. <laughs> Jared might have touched it. Up. Give that kill to the wind, really, is the answer. Yeah, 14 17. They need a big play right here. They need a break. Otherwise, this game's going to be. Uh, Stepping out. Ooh, hard serve. Ooh! Just gets away from him. So the wind, any of those high touches are going to be tough to deal with if you're setting. Because the ball is just not going to be where you think it is by the time it gets to your hand. That's a big one. Seven rock paper scissors. Got a game point it. right here. Looks like they're gonna pull, not play it. Yeah, nope. There you go. <laughs> this is gonna be tough though. They needed a nice one, two, three, and uh, a couple breaks right here. 2016 is the score. Step out serve from Zach. Easy and lefty put for Preston. Right. There you go. Need three in a row. 2017. This is gonna be tough. Can you get three aces or three defensive plays? Just three breaks of any kind. Lefty serve. So there you go. Game one goes to Point Loma. In my backpack. Uh, they looked in. They were in control most of the, the way. The drone should be right A few late breaks from Wabi Sabi, but really what we thought was Point Loma just was a better team there. Yeah, and I mean they they made their serves, they made the defensive plays, and they didn't really make any mistakes. You had Preston and Jared just not not returning serve very well. Those front touches were closer to the person hitting it, 
and yeah. you know the other person's trying to run and especially in the wind if you're scrambling on that second set against a good team like this you're not putting it right next to the net they're going to D it up and they did that and see if uh, touches um, either the wind's gonna play a larger factor or they're gonna need to do something different to get the breaks that they want probably right next to it but yeah there's a sweatshirt in the back probably <laughs> so that's fine that's great we're gonna go in a minute here definitely cold yeah I'm cold yeah um, I'm gonna put on the sweatshirt yeah pro up um, yeah I think like in, like you said even with Wabi Sabi's strong serves, they, they didn't serve that well, but they one of them was handling them. Yeah. The first touches were, were a lot more in control and just a lot less, you know, hitting the ground, diving on those second touches. Yeah. Uh, Sandy Nibs from uh, Wabi Sabi, and we're ready to get underway game two. Here we go. Kenny to serve first Ooh. for Point Loma. Yeah, we are back on the game. Don't need to look at our ugly faces. Miss serve starts it off for Kenny. And it might be the first lead of the match for Wabi Sabi. So there we go, Jared serving now. Looks like that lefty serve's coming. This wide serve, Zach's there to handle it. Quick set and a low put by Zach. That push shot I'm talking about, he's been just working on that. Simple, doesn't have to be hit hard, but I mean, that's the shot that, you know, you, you want the other team to hit. You want to defend those poles on each side, because that's a natural shot. And uh, if you can move your feet, get out of the way and do that. <laughs> He's reaching a little bit too far for that drop shot and loses the handle on it. Yeah, might have, might have been a bad toss. Maybe. Preston was calling him close too, but it doesn't matter, he missed the net. Preston lifting that up. Take a touch for fun just to see how the wind carries it, Why but not, definitely not going to play it. Yeah. Switching stances here. Step out drop, Kenny easily Kenny saw all there. All day. Ooh, another low set. But I mean, can't argue with the results, and that has been working well for them this series. Ooh, Zach bidding, but it's just out of reach. He's right there, though. He might yeah. get one of those. Uh, you see, Preston looked like he was kind of just putting that casually. He can definitely hit it hard if he wants to, but just kind of relax. I don't know how he's not cold right now. It was just before Kenny touched it that he called pocket, but oh. definitely no disagreement on the call. 3-3, three, three, no breaks yet. There you, go. you can hear the Point Loma contingency in the background. Oh, Not too many of them. My, my dudes won intermediate division. Though. Your dudes? Yeah, they're my dudes. <laughs> they took a picture with me earlier. They're stoked. That's awesome. Uh, Preston is missing that step out, slow step out flango. There you so go. back to Kenny. Breaks for all. Wind, you saw the wind tail that. Jared thought he was going to be able to put it on two. Tail's just a little bit further. And after he's already planted the feet, there's not much he can do but watch it go down on the ground. There you go. Ooh, that's tough. That time the wind don't maybe to Preston's advantage. It's a good serve from Kenny, though. If they keep getting stuff like that, you know, they're, they're going to be winning this game and this match and this tournament. Yeah, the pressure is definitely on Wabi Sabi more than Point Loma here. As Point Loma looks comfortably in control, even though it's only a mini break. They've got that game advantage, and their serves have really been challenging, both Preston and Jared. So yeah, factor here to watch. Jared's serving with the sun behind him, so it'll be hard for Kenny to see. As that sun gets lower and lower, he's going to play more and more of a factor, especially in the return game, where you can't see the ball coming out of the server's hand. So you see again, Wabi Sabi using those high, not super high, but higher lofty sets, just more margin for error with the wind. Yeah, you can see Point Lomas can read it a little bit, and you know, it's not like they're really that close to getting the ball, but they're going to be close, closer than uh, what Wabi Sabi's doing on defense. Yep. Ooh, 
nice step out serve. Kenny there, wind not helping, Fly. just pushing it further away from the net. Yeah. That gets rim. <laughs> he did take he did take his time and you know really get make sure he saw the rim or saw the net that he was trying to hit. And, uh, he went for it, but yeah, it was a good attempt. Obviously, I'll be break now. Preston taking his time for the step out and a rim, and that won't do it. Seven seven. First to fourteen now. First yeah. to fourteen. Two. Kenny's, Kenny's gonna go for a nice big spin, spin ace. Stepping out with the left. Oh, we had a chance on that one. Good set by Jared, but Preston, not super clean hit. Zach, that. Zach was expecting a clean hit. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's tough. Yeah. You're ready for a good shot, they don't hit a great shot. Which one you want, but you're not ready for it. Yeah, exactly. It's a testament to how good he is. Jared with the lefty serve. Good serve. That's tough with the wind. Another low set, but yeah. It looks good when they do it, so it's hard to argue with that. Absolutely. We got Sun and Zach's eye now as he serves. It serves. And tailing. Oh, that's a good footwork by Jared. Gets outside and just able to push it. That's a, that's a tough set to hit. Yeah, he's thinking about it still, but he made the right play to just step around it and push it to the open spot. 9 8 now. Wabi Sabi, Preston serving. A oh, hard low serve. Got it. I say he might have been close, but not that it's our call to make. Yeah. Yeah. Scoreboard if here is wrong, don't worry about it. 10 8. 10 8 point Lomo is down. Uh, okay. 10 8. We reset Got the it. scoreboard. <laughs> 10-8. Oh, don't do that. Wabi Sabi. That's... You're just going to confuse everybody now. No, that's the way it's supposed to be. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So 9-10. Kenny serving Point Loma. He's got that opposite that's goofy that's stance that's almost. That's I thought that was pocket. Pocket. Uh, <laughs> you see the reaction. You don't know if they actually think it. They're just trying to get the opponent said. I don't think this should be a tough call. To me, this Kenny thinks the spin pocket. just takes it off the net every time. And it's, you know, it does take it off sideways, but it doesn't take it off up. Yeah, you know, that's just not how physics work. Yeah. So nine ten, Kenny's still serving second serve here. That's a good one. Caught Jared on his left. Great oh effort God. from Preston, but the wind's not going to... They got to read that wind earlier. I mean, well, you got to get a better return than that. Right, but I mean, Jared even, you know, he gets to stand by the net and wait until, you know, just, just, just yeah. the end to, to make a play on that. Downwind, it's really hard to make that recovery. Yeah, tied to so. so here we go. Point low moves to ease, back up. The other thing, there's the sun that probably helps the server when you're in where Zach's standing now. You're serving the guy who's got the sun right as I. But from Kenny's position, you're serving with the wind. Yeah. So if that serve rolls up over the returner's hands, it's that much harder for the set to come back and be over the net. Yeah. So there's a lot of different factors with the environment playing in coming into play now. It'll be interesting to see where the, the teams end up, you know, near the end of the game, what side of the net they are on. Uh, it's going to be a, a huge factor. Yeah. There's that push shot again. It's an awesome song. It's a nice bowl drop right in front of Preston. 11, Zach to serve. So Zach can crank out an ace and see if he can do something. Oh, good oh, serve. Nice Ooh. Oh. Ugly too, but just over Kenny's hand. You gotta think, Cat Simone is asking for another two inches. Yeah, and Kenny probably, you know, could have stayed on the ground and just known the wind would have held that up for him. Yeah. Anytime, anytime somebody's hitting from this, uh, this right side at, at head height, yeah, that ball's gonna bring it back far. here. Oh, ugly miss for Preston there. And so we're nodding again at 12s. There we go. I think uh, I think we're going to get a bad touch here from Preston. With the wind. Can't even hold for it. Got to make the most of this wind oh. situation if you're Point Loma. That was definitely a pocket. pocket no serve, argument second here. Can't need a Preston. There we go. Got to take advantage of your positioning. Ooh, it's the rim. And so Wabi Sabi now out of that, at least the tough wind spot. Preston's still in a tough sun spot going through the legs. Uh, let's see if they can take advantage of the win now at Jarrett's back. I'm, wait, I'm waiting for a body deep by Jarrett or Preston. Something they, they definitely can do and they're really good at. Tough serve. Oh, that's tough. Quick Ooh. set. That looked oh, like a... Oh, and finally the mistake. Yeah, right so there. that looked like one of those almost carry I sets. I thought it was a carry Yeah, too, you said ooh right away and I agree. It just looked like it got caught in Kenny's hand almost as he's swinging through it. It's tough to call it. I, 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 I hope 
people start calling them more. I think it's, I think it's, at a higher level we need to make it clear what a carry is and then work our way down to the play level. Yep. But, yeah, it's something you and I have even talked about before, but. Yeah, well, all right, here we go. They're up a break. Wabi Sabi to serve. Good serve. Good stuff. Ooh. Oh, here's the D. That's what they want. Oh, what a play! Some argument from Preston. I think he's saying he's saying that Kenny was hitting the ball. The ball came up off the net into Kenny's hand. I think so. Calling a double hit after the play. One thing you saw there. He's very sorry. He's calling a hinder on Kenny for blocking Preston's defensive. Okay, so Preston's trying to say that after Kenny hit him on the net, Preston got a touch, and then the it ball was, hit Kenny ball before Jared had played Jared. it. It happened really quickly, but... It wouldn't yeah. be unreasonable to call that if that's what happened. It was tough to see in the quick play itself. But what you saw there was that first set from Zach to Kenny, the wind took it, and so forced Kenny a little bit further off net than maybe he would have liked, which led to him hitting it right into... Wabi Sabi and yeah, I mean, I almost, almost thought Kenny's shot was a little suspect. It was like on the net when he hit it. You know, it was almost like I didn't know if the ball had hit the net first, but it was, it was really close. Yeah, redo. 14 12. We'll redo that point. Jared to serve first. 14 12. Looks like he's going to go for that lefty or maybe the step out right. It's the left. Oh, Kenny's left. It's high good. touch. Ooh. Ooh. They finally got it there, though. Yeah. You know, and that's that push shot, you know. That was a good defense. And that's the problem with that quick set is there's, there's really no options. You, know, you don't have nearly as many options. You have to make that decision a lot quicker. But once again, the defense has less time. Yeah, it's a classic trade-off you get in run net. Here we go. Uh, Zach Wood to serve. Need to find a break soon. Ah, maybe not soon, but... Ooh, that's a great drop. Preston just got it up. Hits the lefty. Kenny's there. No Woo! Great play from Kenny. He's pumped. 14s now. Tied up again. Just saw uh, Kenny adjusting to that hit and I getting around. The wind it. might have brought it back to him almost on Preston's hit. Let's say Preston probably just hit it harder and that doesn't happen. That's a rim. Oh, Preston goes on to you. 15 14. You know, Point Loma feels like they're in this, but you know, with one, one break of serve, you know, this game can slip away pretty easily and who knows what can happen in game three. Yeah. So here we go. Preston probably going big here. Making some sort of joke. He's got the wind at his back. Yeah, stepping out to go right with the wind. Misses it. It's one of those ones, like, with the wind, I just got to make sure you get that circle. Yeah, line. exactly. And you see here, yeah, that they've got, yeah. The wind. Now with Zach in that bad wind spot, they've only got a few more points to take advantage of the wind this game. See the wind tailing on that set. Oh. Preston hit a lefty backhand. Oh, that's great. Yeah, just a bad hit by Preston. And they've got a... They've got to get on top of this soon, and they're about to lose this series. Gain the lead, 16-15. Yeah. Point one to serve. Like you said, I'm, I'm I'm expecting an ace and a scream from Kenny. <laughs> if anything, he was close. The serve was clean. Big disagreement here. Looking no no okay the uh, that was that was 100% not a pocket. Yeah, definitely not a pocket, and. uh... They'll go to the observer. The observers are waiting to see if they go to them, but Point Loma's already swapped spots. We're not sure what the call is. I don't. The, the official score has given the point. Yeah. <laughs> I had the perfect angle. I, well, we don't know what they're calling. Before he hit it? Ah, so Kenny called the wrong score before hitting it. Uh, the rules do say you have to call the score. So if Preston's describing, if what Preston says is true, he's saying he, Kenny called the score, he's called the wrong score, so Preston tried to stop him immediately and then Kenny continued on to serve. They're not issuing, they don't have any issue with the serve. So the right call in this situation is a fault on Point Loma because um, they called the wrong score. I'm going to say the observers got it wrong here, but that's a bummer. Unless they conceded that point. I don't think Preston conceded that point. Just rolling up, looking for the rim call. I think it was a roll up, but it was close. Here we go. All right, well, so down 16 to 17. Walk Big swing Walk there. Needs it. Need a break here to tie it's it up. Right handed serve. He's trying to get Zach with the wind. So uh, spin on it. It's tough. Wind. Yeah. Just low. That ball didn't Man. come up at all. That's, that's a tough shot. Nobody's getting that. So 
1816. Another break here all but cinches it. A casual set from Preston. Oh, terrible. Ball right into Kenny, but with the wind. That was ugly from Wabi Sabi. Oy, oy, oy. It Just, almost looks like they've accepted it. Yeah. I mean, a point like, like that is not what you want at this stage of like the game. They want to win yeah. For some reason. Yeah. So some confusion on the rotation here. I think that's right. No. So yeah, you should be serving to Preston yep. now. Yeah, with the wind. Yeah. This, could, this is gonna be tough though. So here we go. Yep. This is it for Point Loma. Just a few more Point Loma. Uh, he calls a roll up. Ah. Uh, wasn't sure about that one. Yeah, they don't look in their element at all. Definite disagree. Yeah. Uh, maybe a slight roll up. The observers. The observers call a roll up. We'll go second serve second for serve. Zach. Uh, so if you're up 19 16, it shouldn't matter, but you want every point you can get. Into the win. Weird set from Jared. Talking about the carry sets, I think Jared's always been right on the edge of what is a carry and what is a clean go. set. But here we go. This is 17 19. Going Need Zach. the big serves from Preston. Zach has only hit the rim once. He hasn't really made too many mistakes. So. Serving into the wind. Maybe you serve it hard to see if the wind knocks it down a little bit. Changes that yeah, angle. A little top spin against yeah. the wind. That ball, that ball dip down a little it's bit. Probably the best bet for Preston stuff. here. Let's see how he goes. Get it on. Gentleman serve. Wow. Low set. Do that all day. And just an there easy light push for One Zach. Point. One point away from the first major championship. This is huge for them. Let's see if Point Loma can close it out. 2017 triple match point. Drop serve. Roll up. Somebody, hot, somebody have a hot take that one level is going to win too much time? Yeah, that was, that was two months ago, but that was a drop shots round at <laughs> congratulating Point Loma on their win before they played. We ended up getting knocked out in quarters that day, but today looks like the day. Here we go, 18-20. Two chances for Point Loma to close it out. Win taking that one. Great play by Kenny. Closes wow. it out, and that's the match. Wow. Point Loma, Point your Loma 2018 win. San Francisco Tour Stop champions. Congrats Second to goes to Wabi Sabi. Wow. First major Tour Stop victory for them. First time they it. beat either Preston or Jared in bracket play. Yeah. And the first loss of the season for the number two team, Wabi Sabi. Wow, that's going to be uh, interesting with the rest of the power rankings. There's going to yeah. be some conversations that are going to happen. Yeah. And I mean, to do it in two, de two decisive games, uh, I mean, Point Loma looked like the better team today, no question. Certainly, no Point Loma. At least in been, this match, maybe yeah, not yeah, yeah. day, but they've been they've been right on the cusp of that top five for the last year and a half. Hey, congrats, they, guys! Come on over yeah. here. How about you? How about? You got it. Yes, that's fine. That's what you you got it. You got it. <laughs> I'm wearing the shirt. So we're here with uh, Kenny Ortega, newly crowned champion of the 2018 San Francisco Tour Stop. First of all, what are your feelings? This is the first big tournament win for Point Loma, right? For you too? Yeah, first pitcher for us. Um, just super thankful and super excited. It's been a lot of work and a long time coming. A lot of a lot of second places. And Wabi is like a great team and two guys and straight to win those guys in the past. So it feels really good to finally get this win. Yeah, we saw the win playing a huge factor there. Yeah. One thing that we were talking about, for you guys, you make a lot of quick low sets, which one, great keeps the defense on their toes, they don't have time to set up, but two, especially for this wind, it's a great play style to have. Were you, was that a consideration for you, or is that just the normal play style that you went with? Yeah, um, it was definitely consideration because of the wind, and Zach likes, I mean, Wabi's an incredible defensive team, and so sometimes they key on the right hand, and Zach was, um, you know, we try to set it quick to his left, because he's good with the left when we set it quick, so I was trying to do a lot of quick low sets to the left hand. Yeah, so uh, there was uh, obviously some contention, but mostly the question is, was there anything different today that you felt to get this win versus maybe a month ago matching up with Wabi Sabi or any of the other major championships where you guys came in second? Yeah. Was there a feeling today, like, today's the day? Yeah, I, I never felt like maybe today was the day, but um, just putting in work and working on the serves, I feel really confident with my serve, and Zach's been getting really consistent with his serve, and we just felt, we felt we conserved our energy well with our arms, and at San Diego, I think I came out guns blazing and played well. We went undefeated in pool play, but my arm was shot by the time we got to the semis, so when I got to Wabi, I just, I couldn't hit the same serves, um, but conserved the energy today and was able to hit the serves I wanted in the final, so. 
Nice. So you guys are going to Chicago next week, right? Yeah. What are the expectations now coming off of this tour stop victory? We feel great. Uh, I personally love playing on grass. Um, I think me and Zach are better players on grass, even though we play on sand, just because it's just fun to track down deep balls. And uh, I think Zach is a little concerned about the cold there, uh, <laughs> just because we're from warm San Diego, California. You're saying it's cold right now, though. <laughs> Running the cusp a lot, yeah. year and a half of hard work, hard play, and finally you get that big win. Yeah, it's just, I mean, we're, you know, we knew we were coming for the first place finish, and it's, you know, better, you know, not better sweep, but we, we want to do it against Wabi Sabi also because people are saying West is dead. We, we think that the West is still first in all the division. Talking a little bit louder just for the win. <laughs> uh, no, but yeah, I mean, Kenny playing in West is so good. His serves are getting so much better. And, down in the middle of the last game then came back quickly and took a big lead. Yeah. Alright, we're going to cut it. The win's tough to hear over. Again, congrats to Point Loma. Yep. See them next week in Chicago with a handful of other teams. Uh, <laughs> we'll keep talking for another minute, but thanks for tuning into the live stream. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys got to see some great wins. Uh, who got third? Chicago. It's our top three from San Francisco. First, Point Loma. Second, Bobby Sabi. Third, Chicago. Thanks, guys. See you another week.